recording started to the lobby. Um, Lee is in there. Hey, Leah, how's it going? Tony, can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it looks like the video is going slow and everything like that. If you want to just put up that um, form again and just leave it there, uh, we don't need to see video of anybody or anything like that. It looks like it's kind of slow on, on your end because of all the data. Are you getting lag on your side? No, I'm not actually. Hmm. Are you are you seeing this? Are you seeing the screen now? Uh, I was, and now it's to black, but it, it'll probably come back in a second. What I'm seeing is is lag. Let me check my. Is anybody else seeing lag? Yeah, all black now, and you have guests in the lobby waiting to come in. Can you guys admit people too, or no? Yeah, okay. There, there, there it is. All right. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Good. Yeah, no, we can't admit anybody. You're the. Yeah. The one that can admit. Looks like I it's up to you. I'm not gonna change screens to do that. Big guy. All right. <clears throat> For those of you that can hear me, it seems that uh, people are still rolling in, so we're going to give it a couple more minutes. Hey, Matt, do you mind uh, going on mute? Thanks.
Oh, wow, up to 19 people. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Give it one more minute. All right, <clears throat> should go ahead and get started. Um, just want to welcome everybody to uh, Simran HOA meeting for the year. Um, sorry, it's you know a little bit later than it should be. Um, work was crazy for me this year. Um, usually done by first of November, but uh, we were slammed until the end of the end of the whole year. So um, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great holiday and New Year, all that good stuff. Hope everybody signed up for Planet Fitness to, uh, you know, get get this year rolling. But um, meeting tonight will be pretty basic. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, emoji there. Uh, should be pretty basic. We'll run through the numbers. Um, there's a couple things that I want to bring up. Um, and then let's see, we got about 26 people on the call. So if there's anything that you guys want to discuss, um, please feel free to jump in or if I'm talking about something in the numbers, you know, feel free to feel free to hop in and, uh, you know, ask your question. Let's see. Um, one of the things that I uh, wanted to bring up was we're going to keep the dues the same this year. Nothing's being raised. Um, there's no need to raise them. We're not anticipating any problems as far as the ponds go or anything like that. Um, you know, expenses were pretty basic. It's really just landscaping right now. Um, that's the 95% of our expenses and um, everything's, everything's really covered. Insurance isn't terrible. It was in the beginning. It's gotten a little bit lower, so that's nice. But um, we'll be able to just keep it where we're at and um, we'll do our best to try and keep it that way moving forward. But for this year, we have it set for the same rate. <clears throat> um, just to keep in mind, for, for those of you that uh, might know somebody, one of your neighbors, whatever, we still have a few people that haven't paid this year. Um, you know, there's a $5 a month late fee just to let you guys know we need to get them in, you know, on time um, or at least reasonable. But, uh, you know, there's. Tony, how many did you say? 10 people 
and still haven't done it. So now, you know, we actually have to about go 11, 11, about 11. And, and they're due every year just so people know and they can spread the word. It's due at the end of February, February 28th every year. So if you're talking to somebody outside or anything or on the street, you know, and they mention dues. Yeah, they're always due February 28th every year. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, anyway, just please keep that in mind. Or like like Tony said, if you talk to somebody. Um, big thing that uh, I ran into this year, other than, you know, the construction that's going on, solar panels. Um, the neighborhood does not allow solar panels on the front. I know some people are upset about it. Sorry, but that's the, that's the rule that we have. Um, it's been in place since it started here. And um, I don't know if people are trying to demand it from the, the solar panel people or if they're trying to push it, but I've talked to the same company like four times and they're like, oh, what are you talking about? So, you know, if you're talking to somebody about solar panels, we, we don't have them on the front of the house. Um, and anybody driving down the street, any salesperson should know that, you know, they should see that it's, yeah. you know, plenty on the back, none on the front. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of people that have gotten them so far in this neighborhood. I suggest to anyone that's thinking about it to uh, reach out to those people because a lot of these companies are shysty. They are, um, you know, a lot of them are not, not truthful as to what they're yeah. saying and the numbers and the billing, things like that. Um, I've noticed on a couple of the plans that it says, you know, up to 3% a year, you know, increase or up to 5% a year. And they're like, well, we don't usually do that. Well, you can guarantee that they are going to raise the rates, you know, 3 to 5% every year if, if that's what it says in the fine print. So, yeah, they're uh, essentially using your home as a, a bear, as a means to create a power grid, their own power grid. Um, now, I have them, but I bought mine. So, because I just didn't want to have to deal with bill, you know, the bill as much so if you're buying them and you want to put the investment in your home i think it's worthwhile because it does raise your property value it does help there um but it's only unless you buy them if you are leasing them where they tell you you get them for free um they they can change your rate at any time just like any other electric company you're just allowing them rent on your roof is what they're doing yeah so, so. be careful with that um you know, I'm not going to deny anybody unless they try to put the panels on the front. But I just want everybody to be aware that, um, you know, a lot of these companies are are they're out to get you. So just be careful. Um, run through the no numbers. Like I said, they're pretty simple. They're almost the same as last year. Um, association dues come in. Uh, we had what five sales uh, resale certs so total of uh, 33,000 incoming our expenses 18,259 for landscaping uh, we'll come back to landscaping at, after done running through these um, excuse me other fees and and, and uh, insurance is a big one um, community expenses we didn't have much this year um and we'll actually come back to that also and so our total expenses is 26,000 we end up with a uh, net positive of $7,389 for the year added to our total from before we're up to 73,439 in the kitty um next year we're estimating about the same um I think once once we estimate the profit to be less than five thousand, I think that um, we should all um, or have another meeting if if we're estimating to be less than five thousand dollars profit for the year um, to discuss it. I think we should all have a say in that, um, but we can cross that bridge when it comes to it. And. Back to landscaping. Does anybody have any complaints about the landscaping this year? Um, I, I didn't see any problems or anything like that. Did anybody have any issues? When was the last time we put it out to bid? 
um two years ago so the plan was to do it this year 23 percent increase year over year that seems like gouging if that's what our estimation is going to be from uh last year to this year so yeah i would definitely do some type of an rfp for the landscaping i think there are a couple of providers that started in in the neighborhood early that could probably do uh do a bid pretty quickly yeah agreed well yeah, if you have if you have any uh names or, or, any, or any contacts please uh feel free to forward them over we'll do Thanks. yeah I, yeah a couple of folks that are there what um what's the plan for the cash working capital um that we have where does it what does it sit today and what are what's our long-term intention with it tony if you found investment did you find a good investment account for it nothing yet um be honest with you i didn't really check too much this year because it's interest rates are still crappy on savings accounts um that's kind of what we're waiting for you know a better deal to to put a block of money back into some sort of uh investment that can gain um it's just nobody's really doing anything significant right now unless you're putting a significant significant amount of money into it uh, for it to be worth its while so it, right now it resides at the PNC bank. I can show you bank records anytime you want to see them. Um, just shoot me an email or a text and then, um, you know, I can set up a, a t team's call and share the account information, anything you would want to see because everybody's got the right to see it. So, um, but yeah, just sitting at PNC bank for now until some sort of better investment opportunity shows up. PNC has what's called their growth account. It's five and a half percent interest. And you don't have to make any change, plus you can draw it on a checking. That's 500 bucks a month that we would put back into what we have. If you've got 70, I don't know, 75,000 or whatever the heck it was that was on there. I, I think that'd be a pretty easy switch over and you don't even have to change the bank. Yeah, now when I was at PNC and asked them about it, uh, they told me about minimum, um, in order to get a decent gain, I had to invest more money than what we had. Um, that's what they told me. So I can look into it some more, see if there's another option out there. I would like to keep it all at PNC. The guy just told me, the banker at the time, that it just doesn't make sense to move it. So I can help you if you want, Tony. I've got two contacts that will probably fix that for us pretty quickly. OK, cool. Thank you. Sure thing. Cool. Uh, did you, hey, Greg, did you have issues with the landscape or you're just the, the cost? No, I was just looking at the, it, I mean, in my professional life, I got nothing but gouged from every vendor I can think possibly think of in 2023. So I'm intentful on gouging people back in particular. If there's something coming after us, then, uh, you know, I'm happy to support whatever we can do to get the best cost profile for, you know, like you said, 95% of our expenses. Right. Um, yeah, I just I just threw that on there, fifteen percent ish. You know what I mean? I didn't actually do it from last it, it's year. It's probably so. accurate, dude. I, I I actually don't think that you're off base at all. It's probably probably a thing. So yeah, I, mean, it's, I think it's being, I think it's worth worth a look. Being in sales and uh, what I do as well, I can tell you that prices are all going to go up again in twenty twenty four. Every single one of them. Yep. Um, it's going to be one of those years. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Does anybody else have anything for landscaping stuff? Anything they were unhappy with? What things look like? Um, any concerns? Potholes in the ground, in the yard somewhere? In the common ground areas? No? OK. All right. Um, so I think in, you know, we used to do like a block party and everything like that. I think that um, for the most part, people enjoyed it. Um, it. It is tough to wrangle everybody together and set it up and do the planning and things like that. Um, if there's anybody that's interested in, in kind of heading that up, please let us know. Um, we do have funds set aside to help out with those expenses. Um, so yeah, if you're if you're interested, let me know. Also, um, like to try and do another meeting like this in April, and 
you know, talk about the party some more and things like that. Let's see. Is anybody interested in doing the party? Heading it up, planning it out, anything like that? Crickets? <laughs> All right. Um, the other thing was somebody had uh, brought up earlier. Uh, Sarah, was it you that brought up the, the front sign or was it you, Tom? Regardless, it's all of us. Oh, right. I didn't bring it up. I had just said that um, it used to be, I think, a realtor that was doing it. And then she um, no longer participates. So okay. somebody wants to mm -hmm. volunteer for decorating yeah. it. And we'll bring the, we'll, we'll bring it up again, probably on the Facebook page and things like that. But um, if anybody's interested in decorating the front area for the holidays next year, um, yeah, please let us know. And uh, again, we'll put this stuff up on on the Facebook page. Uh, let's see. And then the last thing that we we're going to bring up is we were talking about getting the. Um, streets like a street sweeper type deal get them washed at the uh, end of the winter season just to kind of get up all the salt and things like that kind of get them a good clean does anybody uh, object to this or have an, any ideas of a better solution as far as just kind of like a, a spring cleaning for the roads in the neighborhood Is that the best idea while that construction is still going on or should we wait till that clears out? I mean, they're still bringing mud out of there on a regular basis. Yeah, um, well, we were talking about that, too. He needs to get that area cleaned up also. Um, so that's one of the things that we need to talk to him about. Yeah, shouldn't and technically, you know, there's trucks. I don't know. We We can look into this, but I'm. I'm thinking, don't they have some kind of cleanup clause, you know, and what they do that if they are making a ton of mud in the neighborhood, they need to send their own street sweepers. I mean, we can, we yes. can look into, yes. but yeah, they should be doing this on a regular basis, I would think, because of the uproar that they're causing. It, yeah, that's um, definitely. From what I understand, they're supposed to and he's supposed to clean up after himself. Um, when I talked to the developer, that's what they had said. So. Um, that's only a, a section of this road though, right? So uh, the rest of Cimarron and then the rest of yep. Ranchero down to Saddle and Arroyo. Um, you know, it's it's not just that one section, but yes, they should be cleaning up after themselves. Let's see, what does that say? Any plans for street lights at the at Ranchero and Saddle cul-de-sacs? Um, what is the budget for the block party? Well, let's go with the first one. Uh, street lights. Yes, there is supposed to be a street light at the end of each of those. Um, they were supposed to be put in by Fult, but when he sold it to the new developer, from what I understand, it is now his responsibility and it doesn't have to be finished until they are finished. Um, it stinks, but yeah, that's where they're at. Uh, the budget for the block party technically. Well, the budget for neighborhood expenses is fifteen hundred dollars. That's what we have set aside for. Um, so if that's the only thing we do this year, then you know uh, the block party can can take that. But I imagine some of that, if somebody wants to do you know holiday decorations throughout the season, uh, or, you know fall decorations, holiday decorations, that sort of thing, um, that money would come out of there also. Tony, can you throw those numbers back up there? It looks like. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Somebody said they can't see what's shared. Yeah, that's a lot of that. Mm -hmm. So does anybody else have it? Uh, uh, like the idea of doing the, the street sweep or scrub. 
for the rest of the neighborhood. It's working on it on my end. The um, Sharon. Oh, okay. While we're waiting on that, what are, what are we doing to collect on the eleven people that are outstanding on twenty three as we turn the page to collect twenty four? Um, yeah, so the emails have gone out. Um, the next step is going to be one, me walking over there, and two, um, actual letter to the house. So that's that's the next step. If they don't want to pay it, then there's going to be a different situation. I think a lot of it is, um, well, some of them, I will say, I don't have correct information on. So that's the that's the kicker there is if you are talking to people, you know, if they can text or email me their email address just to make sure that I have it updated on my end. Um, so that's that's the biggest thing. It may not be that they don't want to pay it or they're not going to pay it. It might be they're just not getting the information because their information wasn't updated properly. Or the other biggest thing, too, is closing agents for new um, for new residents in the area. They never collect the information, even though they're told to in the instruction document to make sure everything's completed. They'll send it back to me with no information other than a name and the check. And then it's up to us to, you know, track it down. Yeah. Tony, let's plan on going out um, next week. Yeah. Just walk them. Yeah, I'm trying to get a share on that. I don't know for some reason. Well, it, it, it's it, if it's bogged down, then don't don't worry about it. Um, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Can you see it? Yep. Um, well, while we've got these numbers up here, let's. I'd like to open it up to everyone. What um, does anybody have any ideas or um, complaints or anything like that about the neighborhood? How it looks, how it's you know being handled, that sort of thing. My feelings won't get hurt. I promise. <laughs> Somebody got something? No. Wow. Okay. Thought somebody would have something. Interesting. Hey, so yeah. Fran, Francois and Tony, let me ask you a question. They don't hey. pay their fees. What do we do? Um, we can in do a past, I, th I think, yeah, I think Fultz in the past said, uh, we just, he has a lawyer. Well, we can find one. Or if anyone's in a neighbor, if there's a neighbor that's a lawyer, uh, they can easily draft a letter and just let them know that there will be a lien coming. And usually that's enough to, uh, you know, scare people into uh, getting it done. For 225 bucks, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, considering what everybody pays to live here, I don't think 225 is horrible. And everybody knew about that fee whenever they moved into the neighborhood. So, yeah. And I paint my house without telling y'all, right? So what? <laughs> <laughs> I missed it, sorry. I can paint my house without telling you, right? That's right. Yep, you can paint your house. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to be that guy, you know. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, when we go to these people's house, last year everybody paid, you know, hopefully this year uh, people will be like, oh, my fault, you know, thought I paid it and they just pay it. I don't want to have to go down that road, but if we have to, I mean, then we have to, unfortunately. Yep. We'll do what we got to do. Yeah. It would pay for the street cleaner. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anybody have any anything they want to discuss about the neighborhood? We went over the, we talked about the street lights. Um, I'll see if I can get them to push that along. I'll talk to the township. Um, let's see, talk to township. Lights. Francois, if you heard 
any movement or you know they're slowly crawling on the the development you know so the roads in but any other updates of when they plan on putting a house in it's going to be completely different hoa correct yes yeah it'll be different hoa um well every time i talk to them it's uh yeah we're we're gonna start building a house you know next next month type thing and then uh, it gets pushed back every time i talk to them so um they had actually told me last year that they were going to have it ready by like July or some BS like that. Um, so I doubt, I doubt this summer is going to be legit. That's what they were targeting, but I don't know if, I don't know if they're going over to other neighborhoods and working on them first, what their deal is. Um, but yeah, they were originally talking you know, last summer to fall. And then the last time I talked to him, he was like, oh, it's going to be, you know, early summer type thing when we start building here. But I don't see it happening. With everything that they have going on over there. Thank you. Yep. I think Miranda may have... Um... Miranda may have sold some land that they were planning on building recently over here in Moon. So oh, okay. I, don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't keep up to date on all the things, but I, I'm wondering if like their plans are changing. I don't think they can do anything now because they've already started here, but um, just, you know. Yeah, I'm one. I'm wondering that myself. Um, you know, how's it marking? Is not as hot as it was before for them to jump on it. So I wasn't wonder. wasn't that um, oh God right there at uh, Spring Run Extension and Floggerty? Wasn't that supposed to be where they knocked down the old? Um, yeah, the Gilmary. Yeah, that was supposed to be Miranda Homes, and now it there's a sign up now that says it's. Apartments. Apartments, yeah, and it's a totally different company. So, and I don't think that's the only land that that's happened to with Miranda. So I'm wondering if maybe they put in a big bid on all this land and then sort of decided they weren't going to get their return of investment. I yeah. don't think they're allowed to do that. Um, I think they had to keep the same plans as Ryan had whenever they laid this out. Um, Here, I think I'm that, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just meant I just meant that uh, other plans that they had, um, you know, I, I, I like I said, I don't pretend to keep up with all of yeah. that, but so I'm sure I'm sure you're right. I mean, if they haven't started building, they can do anything they want with that land, right? They can sell it, they can move it, they can do anything. So, yeah, you're probably right. And like with the housing it, market starting to slow and everything, like, they they might be getting scared and, and dropping things. Yeah. So it could be anything. Absolutely. It happened in Texas when we were living in Texas. We bought into a brand new neighborhood that was owned by one company, and then they they decided to pull out. And so our neighborhood was like four different builders because they had first right of they gave somebody else first right of refusal to the, those plots of land because they hadn't built a house yet. So even though the neighborhood was built out you know the streets and stuff they they could do that i don't know if that's something they can do here in pennsylvania but i've seen stuff like that before so yeah they definitely can um they absolutely can hopefully that isn't the case um because there isn't many builders are over here so right um that would put a long long pause on on getting it finished and i can tell you with that in texas we also had a neighborhood where um, we had two HOAs. Another HOA was buried in the middle of our neighborhood because we were the original buyers. Mm -hmm. And so we had one HOA and um, we had a lot of land around the outside. So the landscaping cost was much, much higher. I mean, we had we had like acres of land that we had the landscape and stuff, but it did, did cause a, some issue. I don't foresee that happening here because there's one entrance and exit um, and there's really not a whole lot of land that needs to be dealt with, but just something to keep in mind. Um, 
in the future. I, I wonder what their HOA fees are going to be because there's only going to be such a short or, or such a small number of homes. Yeah, our goal is to eventually merge them once they're built and complete. Yeah, I would so think our that's H good. HOA, I mean, it just doesn't make sense for th that number of homes to have their own HOA. Right, right. I, I completely agree. Yeah. And as far as I'm concerned, they're still Cimarron. I mean, they may say it's a different, you know, down there, but at the end of the day, they're in our neighborhood, you know. Right. They'll they'll be part of our neighborhood down the line. There's no reason for them to ever be separate. Agreed. Yeah, I talked to the developer. Um, that will not happen until he's out of the picture. Um, Correct. Until that, until he's gone, there that will be a separate thing. But yeah, I mean, they may want to merge at the end. Um, they may not. It's it'll be up to them. We can't force them into it, unfortunately. So, Moon Township uh, has agreed with that. If they're um, willing, to, if they're willing to, they can they can come in to ours. I have another question regarding sure. the building of those houses. So I'm one twenty four. Um, Cimarron and so like the, you know we're affected right down the hill the back of my house we're affected by that plan and I had asked originally when when they were starting to dig up and stuff could the land shift you know what would happen is anybody else having issue because we have started noticing that um, all of a sudden our bathroom door in the basement will no longer close like something has shifted and we have a crack in our wall down our stairs. I've had, I have a contractor friend who came over and said, it's not an issue unless it starts to go up, but um, I'm getting a little concerned and I'm not really sure what to do. Should I call homeowners or I'm sorry, not homeowners. Should I call um, my, uh, my insurance? Yeah. My homeowner's insurance. Oof. Um, I think proving it's going to be hard that it was them. Um, it it was literally when they started digging down there, and my dad lives in Robinson, in the right. same type of neighborhood where yeah. he was on a hill, and then below it, and the same thing happened to him. Yeah, I mean, I I totally understand. Um, I don't know. What should yeah, I do? I, the only thing I'm thinking of is if you do turn it into homeowners, they at least have some really good lawyers <laughs> that might have some, right. uh, you know, knowledge into something like this, because I'm sure that they've faced it before. So it's not a bad idea, in my opinion, to reach out to your homeowners and, you know, at least have them in to get an idea, okay. you know, of a claim. Um, okay. How about, how about anybody else that's on this call? Does anyone else uh, have any ideas for that? I mean, we're all different walks of life and jobs and everything else. Does anybody have any ideas? Or have the same issue? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's um, okay. Yeah, you know what? Um, if you if you do call and you hear something, um, like I said, we're, I'd like to have another one of these in April to kind of just, um, you know, basically keep up with what's going on. Okay. And um, if you find something out, please let us know. Will do. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm curious myself. All right. So we need to talk about the lights with the township. We'll do that. Um, straight, straight solar panels. We went over. I think we've covered everything. Landscaping. We're putting out to bid plan was for this year and then the growth account um greg do you mind uh talking to tony about that since you have those contacts yeah we're, no problem. Problem. we're, we're sitting here in chat so oh, okay. coming up with strategery <laughs> strategery <laughs> yeah i nice. appreciate it man thank <laughs> you no worries sure thing cool yeah thanks well um i think i've rambled on long enough um does anybody have anything else that they want to uh, bring up Also, are we okay with um, with uh, board members as they stand now? If there's any complaints about that, please let us know. Or if there's any changes for the board that you would like to see, or um, any anybody wants to participate as well, um, let us know. 
Um, yeah. Um, speaking of that, um, if there is, if somebody's had an issue with me personally or anything like that, or anything that I've done, um, please reach out to one of the other folks. Um, talk to them about it. Um, I mean, you're more than welcome to tell me too, because you know I try not to do anything to upset people. But um, and you know, as far as the other the uh, other board members, you know, if you've had a problem with them, reach out to me. Um, you know, want to make sure there's no issues. And uh, yeah, sounds good. I think everybody has my contact info. If you don't, um, it's on Facebook. And please feel free to text me, email me, whatever you need. Does anybody have anything else? Thank you to the board members. You guys are, you know, you don't get paid for that. You volunteer your time. That's it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, going once, going twice. If nobody has anything, have a great rest of your week and uh, weekend. And we'll talk to you here soon. Yeah, and happy new year, everybody. Thank you. Yep. Jackie, you staying on?